Good morning everybody, this is Dear Mama Sal on a very pretty Wednesday morning. We're talking about 16 degrees here in Southern British Columbia, which would make it 60 in America. It's sort of weird. It's overcast, but you get a real sense that the not socked in it's just very light overcast not quite sure what it's going to do of course it's about now that I think hmm maybe I should have bought a cardigan or a jacket light jacket <laughs> a bit too late now and I don't have one sitting at work just in case I won't even think about that <laughs> definitely was not a girl guide was I or a girl scout whatever yeah um, I think my motto is make a plan rather than be prepared. <laughs> yeah, definitely my motto is make a plan. Um, so, never mind. Why do I always think about this when I'm already on the road? I have no idea. Maybe because that's the only time I really wake up. <laughs> So this time next week I will already be on the flight on my way down to Anaheim. It's very exciting. Uh, it seems incredible that it's come about so quickly. And I really do need to do some homework because I need to sit down and sort of plan through my what I want to see and what I don't want to see sort of thing because there is so much to do and see and so many different ways to do it. Absolutely amazing to think, you know, 20,000 people will go to this event. That's a lot of people. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print out all the different streams. You know, there are three different streams. There's a sort of general stream, and then there's the creator stream, and then there's the industry stream. And then the industry stream allows you to go to anything, you know, of any other stream. So that's very... exciting. So my feeling though is that um, number one I want to make sure I'm doing the industry stream stuff because that's what my ticket allows me to do and that puts me in a <clears throat> interesting uh, group of people. Interesting to me. I still have you know, huge fears about not recognizing the people I should, and that's okay. They won't recognize me either, right? And that's what I have to remember. And sometimes that's even more fun. I can remember when I was at um, blog affair last year, I actually met somebody that I didn't know that they were quite as well known as they are, and had a really nice conversation with them, and only afterwards found out just who they were. 
and that didn't change my feeling about them at all. In fact, it improved my feeling about them because they were so gracious, and I rather liked that. Now, not many of you reacted to my question about crowds yesterday, so I gather that for the majority of you, uh, this isn't an issue. Um, and one person did mention that uh, they wondered whether this was um, something that comes about as we get older, that we get more uh, hesitant around crowds. And, you know, that could be true, that I think I was a lot more flexible about that when I was young. And I'm also aware that it's a lot noisier when you're amongst that many people, and especially when they're that excited. Uh, I, I, can, I know what it was like even at Blog Affair, and that was you know, a very small event, sort of 90% smaller. <laughs> um, you know, when you look at that and you think, wow, that's going to be really noisy, but necessary. I will find my space. I'm going to start packing any minute now. Um, or at least getting my clothes out and then I'll pack them on the last night. What I'm inclined to do is to put all my clothes out so that I can see, okay, I've got the top for that and the shorts for that or whatever it is that I need. Now, I would actually like to get myself a couple, I think a couple more tops I thought I might need. Maybe not. So very exciting, all in all. Uh, I want you to talk a little bit today about challenge um, because you understand that doing this for me is a challenge, right? It's taking me out of my regular comfort zone into the big time. <laughs> 